is a jackfruit um, noodle soup. And so um, today I'm using the, uh, this is the chicken consomme, which comes on, which is on Cameron's website for $12.49. Uh, this was unopened, um, but just to show you how well it, wor it um, works, this has been around for, this is maybe two years past the, uh, past the date, and it is still just as good as new. And it tastes just like it was brand new um, because it was unopened. And um, I'm using has been discontinued is a tagliatelle that is medical. And that one um, is, um, so, I, oh, so I no longer have a price on that one. But these are two items I don't have to count. Cambric does have a chicken noodle soup already made. Uh, I mean, on, on their website too, but um, adding real ingredients might be better than little chunks of dried stuff. Um, and anyway, um, I am um, now boiling uh, oh, um, the pastas do range anywhere from $8.99 to $11.99 that are still on Cambric's website. Um, but we do have, um, right now, uh, I'd say either the fusilli or the penne would be probably the, your best bet, uh, or just regular pasta. Um, the, um... Right now, I have in the pot uh, 500 grams of carrots and 282 grams of cabbage. And um, I am about to add in, so I'm going in um, the order of how, of the hardness of the stuff. So next, I'm going to add in the, they've been cooking for probably about two or three minutes. So I'm going to add in now the noodles. Um, oh, actually, I'll add in the noodles. Um, and I do have the, pasta, the potatoes also in this one. Um, not normally included, but it, so this is 599, okay, oh. This is 599 grams of um, red potatoes that I'm adding in now. So, but I have about, um, I'm not sure if this pot's going to be big enough for everything, but I do have about uh, four containers of chicken stock and um Three cups of white wine, um, and also so the consomme is also in there. So, which I have a little over about probably about a cup and a quarter, a quarter and a cup of that. Um, so, as you can see, the pot is getting pretty full with everything I have in it now. Let that cool down, cook down a little. But if I can fit it, I do have um, some celery here and um, some broccoli. The broccoli's frozen, so I'll probably be putting that in last. Um, the broccoli I have 334 grams of, and the celery is 154 grams. Um, so I might, I might actually be saving some of this for later. Uh, for a different time also um, to add in when the um, when I've used some of the soup if I don't have room um, but this is going to take probably about 10 minutes for the noodles to go down I mean to cook so I'll stop the camera now and get back to it thanks See, celery was 154 grams of the celery. Uh, over here. Um, 
And if you put the, um, I noticed with weighing, if you put the item that you're going to weigh the item on before, uh, item in, before you put in the item, like if you put the bowl on the scale before you put whatever you're weighing in the bowl, then you don't have to zero it out. Also, um, just a tip I've learned. Okay, so I ended up adding uh, the rest of the broccoli, which was about 334 grams of the broccoli. And this is frozen broccoli, so it's already pre-cooked. Um, and then the start of the show here, as far as the seasonings, is the cumin. So I added about five or six grams of, this, of the, I mean, five uh, um, tablespoons of the garlic powder um, and the cumin also. And then the rest I did, um, basil I could have left out, but it's, um, cause it, I, at least I didn't taste a whole lot of the basil in it. From what I put in, I put about two or three tablespoons of it. And um, paprika is another one that is kind of iffy. Um, it could just be that my spices could be old, too old. Um, they tend to use fla lose flavor after a while uh, with most of the spices. Um, anyway, I thank you for your time.